my god, they have to pilot this inflating! Don't panic. On the belt line of the automatic pilot, there's a hollow tube. Do you think I'm gonna do it? Don't ya? Hi dear friends, welcome back to my channel. This is your dear Annie here in the Philippines. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Well, for today's video, fly with me virtually as we talk about flights going to Philippines. If you ever dream of exploring the vibrant culture, stunning landscape, beautiful beach, and a warm hospitality of the Philippines, well, you're in for a treat. We will be diving into nitty gritty of the flight from your country going to Philippines. So buckle up and join me in this virtual adventure. But before we soar into it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated for my next video. So let's start! So you're planning to visit Philippines, but there are things we need to consider. Planning in advance for your trip going to Philippines is quite crucial, right? For several reasons, like optimizing your cost, booking your flights, and the accommodation. You should do it early so this leads you to have a better deals and discounts so you save money for your overall travel expenses and don't forget the availability of your preferred airlines which is by planning ahead of time ensures you to have a more options and higher chance of securing your preferred choice by planning ahead reduces stress and uncertainty providing you with a peace of mind that comes from having a well thought out itinerary but let's talk about the available flights going to philippines and here are some key points for you to consider like what airlines you should take connecting versus direct flights and let's read some review of those airlines we're going to discuss major airlines operates flights between united states to philippines and those airlines like ava air qatar airlines Starlux, Philippine Airlines, and others that provides option for various budget and preferences. And talking about direct flights may be available typically departing from major U.S. airports like Los Angeles International Airport or San Francisco International Airports. While on the other hand, connecting flights may provide additional options but usually extend the travel time considered departing to your cities based on your location west coast cities like los angeles and san francisco often have direct flights while east coast travelers may have connecting flights and layovers certainly here are some airlines from flying to u.s going to philippines let's check them out First on the list is EVA Air or EVA Airlines. They fly more than 20 countries around the world, including the United States, Canada, UK, Australia, and Philippines. And they operate many flights a week from some cities. For example, there are at least seven flights a week for both LA and San Francisco to Taipei. And from Taipei, you can connect to scads of cities in Asia, like Philippines and you might want to try its premium economy class we hear this premium class is pretty good so why not you try if you're not sitting on the middle row try the premium class i heard the premium class is quite pretty good about their service and we will read some reviews about these airlines from april santos Hi there, I am planning to travel in the Philippines in May with my son. However, it is better to buy the seats in advance or wait till 48 hours before departing time. I'm afraid that my son will sit in different seat if there are no available seats together. By February, the seats will increase to $50 from $40, long haul and short haul $20 from $15. Thank you. Well, April Santos. As what I have always said, planning ahead of time because, you know, the, um, airlines prices can be all over the map uh, these days. 
but if you book your flight early and usually get the best airline ticket prices so when you book in advance so you can have the best choice right next is let's talk about qatar airlines it is a multiple award-winning airline this airline offers very competitive ticket prices often considerably less than other airlines such as kml and Cathay pacific and the airlines flies more than 150 destinations around the world from north america qatar has direct flights to doha from atlanta boston chicago miami new york Montreal and other cities. Let's read some review about Qatar Airlines. From Tom Scott, just finished a round trip from MCO to Cebu, Philippines. The size of the seats, in my opinion, were smaller than the other airlines. The food was very tasty. And when I arrived in the Philippines, my suitcase was missing. They tracked it and was still at New York. Oops. Sorry to hear about your experience, Tom Scott, but that's such a drag that your suitcase got lost. If I were you, I will gonna be so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's really better to have um, travel insurance for you guys so that you can have the reimbursement for the cost that was damaged, right? So good luck to you, Tom Scott. Let's read some review about Starlux. Uh, from Brad B. He said, Flying a Starlux through Taipei was really nice and inexpensive. It's a brand new plane and great services. The Taipei airport is really clean and if you have a long layover, they have places to grab a beer or a massage. I like the massage during the long layover as I encourage people to look at the direct flights to Manila on Philippine Airlines as it is only a little more expensive than flying through Taipei but your time is more valuable if you are saving 12 to 16 hours round trip and the flight is only $200 more it's probably worth just paying more for the direct flight because you save time and you won't spend any money on foods and other stuff while waiting Hi, Brad B. I'm sorry for what you've experienced on your last flight, but it sounds like you had a positive experience flying on Starlux through Taipei with a brand new plane, great services, and a clean airport. The option to grab a beer or get a massage during a long layover is a nice touch. However, you're advised to consider direct flights to Manila on Philippine Airlines, even if it's slightly more expensive, Makes sense when factoring in time and save the potential expenses during layovers. Now let's talk about Philippine Airlines. Well, Philippine Airlines have a direct flight from United States to Philippines. And let's read some of the reviews about the airlines. They said they have comfortable seat, impeccable service, unique food, and a great IFE screens. But some people experience a chaotic airport here in Manila tardy departure and traffic jam at laboratories and have poor headphones but the good thing as you book your ticket you could log in on the philippine airlines website to manage your booking like seat selection was free but limited about 40 percent of the available coach cabin and then they have the choice seats but range from $12 to $100 with a middle tier of $50 for ASL seats a little farther towards the center. And important to keep in mind when you landed in Manila International Airport, um, some experience they took more than 45 minutes to get through immigration because the crowded at the airport in Manila is so chaotic. It's like free for all with no distinct queues would take longer time before you reach the immigration and here are some reminders that the terminal at manila did not connect so you better check your ticket which terminal you belong but usually the airport had a shuttle buses that offered free to connecting connection between all four terminals 
but you need to wait for 15 minutes or longer. Even the website at the airport, they warned that there were time like take so long for you to wait those buses. It's really depend on the traffic. So it's better to check your ticket, which terminal are you belong. So good luck when you travel here in the Philippines. Next, we have American Airlines, the headquartered in Fort Worth, Texas. American Airlines offers non-stop flights to more than 250 destinations in more than 40 countries across North America, South America, the Caribbean, Europe, and Asia. American Airlines has an extensive network offering various options and routes that may suit your departure city and preferences. Here are some reviews of this American Airlines. There's some review from Alan P. He said, some good, some not so. Not terrible, just very great. But good news, got there safely on time. Check in in very knowledgeable. Traveling companion has issue, all well handed. And bad news, sitting equivalent to premium economy, not business class. Red eye flies, so whole plane shut down as soon as possible. Passengers next to me said prefer another airline. Uses American Airlines when less choice as consistently underwhelming. Well, how about you guys? What is your review about have you tried fly Philip um, American Airlines? Please comment down below. Next is Japan Airlines. The country's largest airline, Japan Airlines, is headquarters in Tokyo. It flies non-stop to about 60 domestic destinations and more than 30 international destinations in Asia, Europe, Oceania, North America, and South America. If you check their price, it's several hundred dollars, but it really depends which season or date you are traveling. Of course, peak season like December is much more expensive, right? Let's read some reviews about Cathay Pacific. It says the airline's cabin was clean and the seats looked very new and was very comfortable. Check-in was fast and the service staff were really nice and helpful. Food on board was amazing as well as the in-flight entertainment. The overall was excellent and it's one of the best airlines they would recommend. And the toilet are typically clean compared to the West carriers. Entertainment system is excellent and there is now a new interface that is much faster than the old one. So it sounds like they have a good review about these airlines. Just a reminder that each airline has its pros and cons. So it's essential to consider your priorities when choosing the right one for your journey. And always remember to research and compare options thoroughly to find the best flight that suits your preferences, schedules, and your budget for you to have an um, enjoyable and smooth journey going to Philippines. And before booking your flights, it's recommended to check the current status of that airlines, those services, and also those layovers and decision based on your travel preferences. If you find this topic interested, Please comment down below and share your travel experience and have a safe flight everyone and welcome to Philippines. This is your dear Annie and you can ask me anything and everything here in the Philippines and please consider my Patreon channels. See you all guys there. This is due to periodic air pocket we encountered. There's no reason to become alarmed and we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane?